Infowars came face to face with the occupation of America today. Jakari Jackson and Alex Jones have more. Thanks, Leanne. Let me give the viewers out there just a little bit of background here. They've announced they're going to have the military, the feds, the state police running checkpoints all over Austin and drills in the next few weeks. And don't be alarmed. Uh, now they're setting up random checkpoints that are totally unconstitutional on the highway, all because of the increased terror threats. And then Jakari, he's about to tell you the story, and we're about to show the video, wakes up at 5 this morning. There's a SWAT team raid. They're announcing stuff on loudspeakers. 20 minutes later, when it's over, he opens his door up, and they don't say, sir, please go back in your house like cops would do in the past. No, it's Fallujah. It's military drill type occupation. You get in there and then coming over and slamming the door. This is what it's like to live in Mexico or North Korea. Our police didn't act like this in the past. And I got to be honest, I'm glad that I wasn't there. Because I've gone in front of the Austin SWAT team before uh, about some of their activities, uh, as well as the Travis County SWAT team, when they've been at public events getting in my face over free speech. These guys need to go find the Taliban. Well, I guess they're on the globalist payroll. And actually fight foreign enemies. See, a militarized police fights an enemy. Peace officers are there to help the people and follow the Constitution and are servants, not authorities or officials. And we see this everywhere now where somebody says, uh, well, officer, you need a warrant to search my car, and the cop punches you in the face or tasers you. They are being trained militarily that we are an occupied group, uh, and it's outrageous. This is the type of stuff in the decade before 1776 that led to the Revolutionary War. This is the exact type of garbage going on. These guys think they're macho. They, they're fighting an enemy, the American people. They've got their fake drug war. Uh, going on when we all know the big banks and the CIA bring it all in as their excuse then to traipse around in their black mask, which are there to cover their identities and for intimidation. It is truly disgusting. We've now joined Mexico and other countries in having secret police. Jakari, I'm just glad uh, so many cases now in a lot of places, they probably would have just killed you uh, like another Mr. Jackson a few weeks ago and they just ruled, well, we shot him in the back for no reason when he was running. We're allowed to do that. I saw the Justifiable yeah. homicide. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I just saw that. We'll talk about that at the end before we go back to Leanne, but tell the story before we go to this video. I mean, I, th this got me so mad I had to come on the news tonight and yeah. I drug you in here. Yeah. So this is the situation. Uh, I live in southeast Austin. About 5.30 in, in the morning, I heard some loud bangs. Bang, bang, bang. Right by the office, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, not, not too far. Just from here, just a little bit past that camera we're looking in. And I hear these loud bangs, and I jump up. I think somebody's trying to break into my apartment. You know, I jump up, and I grab a, a shotgun out the closet. You know, my dog runs and hides in the corner, and I'm wondering. I'm like, what's going on? And then I hear some bang, like bang, 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 you know, different kind of bang. Because the first bang was like a bang on the door. The second bang, I believe it was a flash bang, but I'm not exactly sure. And so I'm like, what's going on? And then I hear, Austin Police Department, we have a warrant. You know, so it's the cops outside serving a warrant as I find out to somebody across the hall from me. So I'm like, okay, so I put the gun down and I go and search for a camera. I dig an old camera out of the closet because I, I didn't have my camera on me. And you can see in the video, I actually have my camera hooked up to the charger at the time because the battery was dead. And this is about 15 minutes, Alex. Keep in mind, this is about 15 minutes after they had originally arrived. You know, I'm thinking that they had secured the perimeter. They had all the suspects in place. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's safe to open the door. And as you can see in the video coming up, I open the door, not even all the way, you know, not even halfway. And I'm just standing there with my camera. An officer immediately turns around. Close your door, get back inside. And I say, officer. Very rudely, he doesn't say please. He talks yeah. to you with disdain and hatred. Yeah, and this is after they secure the perimeter. And I'm. By the way, police didn't act like this before. Notice, you know, they call us civilians too. They're civilians as well. Oh, yeah. It's like we're the military, you're just a slave. Mm -hmm. And so the officer's yelling at me, get back inside. I say, officer, I am inside my house. And then another guy, get back in your house. I'm like, sir, I'm inside of my home. Yeah. What Notice they didn't say sir to you Yeah, because they're, they're God, you're nobody. Yeah, they're authorities in their black ski mask and so forth. And you'll see uh, one of the officers comes over and slams my door. And, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, why didn't you open the door again? Now, this is a police department that this week ruled that it's justifiable to shoot somebody in the back of the neck. Uh, Who's done nothing. Our, uh, on our man in the back of the neck. You so, went down and reported on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, another Mr. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Mr. Uh, Larry Lu uh, Eugene Jackson, Jr., 
Uh, he was shot after an uh, incident with police at a bank. The man was unarmed, came across an officer. The officer commandeered a vehicle to catch this guy. And he wasn't the bank robber. He wasn't the bank robber. He was a white guy. Yeah, he didn't match the description at all. That's, that's not even... White guy robs the bank. Black guy comes by hours later, goes, I don't want to talk to you. Runs off. The cop, pew, right in the back of the neck. Yeah. And they said, hey. Justifiable they, homicide. Justifiable homicide. Well, now the state police, we've got the ladies coming on tomorrow, all over the place, actually just pull you over and put their hand in their... Inside their bodies. Bo uh, and don't even change gloves, because we're animals. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if you're black, if you're white. We're in an occupied country. The banks are taking everyday homes that don't even owe money. They don't even have the deed, and they're taking houses. $85 billion is stolen a month by foreign banks. Folks, we're wide open. This country is occupied, and they've got the cops robot ready to do whatever they're told. Incredible. Jakari, I'm just glad that, you know, that they didn't kill you right there. I am too, Alex. You know, especially dealing with this uh, department that we've had uh, very little accountability. We've seen situations where they kill dogs when they show up to the wrong residence and shoot somebody's dog. I was out at a protest last week and I saw these big, uh, almost military type vehicles that the SWAT team uses. I mean, it's, it's a complete military occupation. Oh no, they bring those out to intimidate you. Yeah. Like how dare you Americans try to come out and demonstrate about how many people we've shot in the back this month. We're just gonna come out and menace you. It, it, it is incredible to see this going on. The good news is I know a lot of police and uh, people that are starting to wake up, but we've talked about this enough. Let's go to this clip. This is unedited from the time he turns the camera on until they come and slam the door. And you look at that guy's eyes. I mean, even if they would have been paranoid and said, look, you know, this is a dangerous situation, there wasn't any of that. It was, you listen here, you scum, and then just, Ugh. I mean, yeah. it is this attitude of, we're in charge, we're authorities, you're nobody. Let's go to that clip. I am in my apartment, sir. Go back inside right now. I am inside. I'm, this is my door. I'm standing right inside my apartment. Sir, I'm inside my apartment. And Alex, that's exactly the type of tyranny that we warn about in this, you know, imagine tyranny police state, as some people like to call it. This is a very real deal. You know, you can just open your door and be shouted at. And, you know, for anybody who would say, you know, you're lucky you didn't get shot. Maybe I am I'm lucky, uh, lucky I didn't get shot. But that's the whole problem with this nation, that you can be shot for opening a door after they had already cleared the threat 15 minutes earlier. You're absolutely right, Jakari. I want people to listen to me very carefully here on this, Jakari. This is so key. The real threat is the police state. The real threat is the out-of-control government. It's always been throughout history. America was founded on not allowing this type of activity to go on. We have troops quartered among us. That's what this is. We have an occupied nation of crazy-eyed killers who've been trained that the people are the enemy. We are now a nation of slaves to a great extent, and our dignity's been taken, and police did not act like this in the past because they were peace officers. There were still problems. Even the Wall Street Journal says police killing people's out of control and that they're militarized just a few weeks ago. In fact, we'll put that article up. This is serious, ladies and gentlemen, and it's being done by design, and the police are being told they can act like this on purpose. They're kicking the people out of there that want to be real peace officers. They've got a bunch of fake, macho people that think we're the enemy. I'm not the enemy. I pay your salary, and I'm sick of it. You know, in closing, Jakar, before we go back to Leanne as she finishes up the news here and her guest, look, my wife went to the marathon in Waco two weeks ago. They had youth I haven't even played this video yet, it's on our iPhone. They had youth groups out there searching people and, and helping the police. And when my wife asked about it politely, she got yelled at. You don't ask questions in America of people in uniforms. I mean, this is worse than Mexico. This is worse than third world countries I've been to. I mean, they act more arrogant than Mexican police I've seen running checkpoints and that I've seen shaking people down. And then I try to go to the Kite Festival, and they've got National Guard there randomly searching people. Mm -hmm. And then I'm driving by a high school, and they've got Army out there and helicopters and drills. And they're saying the military is going to be occupying Austin the next few weeks yeah. with the feds. I mean, and they're doing drills everywhere. This is the rollout of martial law. People make excuses for what happened uh, in places like Boston. Mm -hmm. Like, well, we lock half the city down, drag women out of their houses, point guns at everybody, beat people up. Uh, and then... 
People say, well, that's okay, it kept us safe. They didn't act like this before, because in a free country, you don't do that, and Americans wouldn't put up with it. Before we go back to Leanne, anything else you think should be added here? Just the way, you know, you can look at this video and see the way the guy's looking at me, you know, like I'm some enemy insurgent because I'm standing there with a camera at, you know, 5.30 in the morning, and there are other people out there as well, people, you know, maybe they're a little bit farther away and they weren't, you know, in the direct, uh, the direct area, but, you know, many people are watching this and had I had a better camera angle, I probably would have looked through a window or something like that, but, you know, it's, this is what goes on, you can't even open the door to your own apartment. Well, if they would have shot you, the police chief would go, well, they felt threatened because they're better than us. Yeah. Why did they sign up to be cops then if they're so scared? They pull people over every week, I see articles, and the person gets out with nothing. Oh, I, I thought they had a gun, so I shot them. Mm -hmm. So they're just all walking around like Barney Fife on steroids at the OK Corral, and we're all just being killed in the crossfire. I mean, this is a serious, serious issue. Well, we'll have more on this as it unfolds. and. Uh, more as uh, Austinites send us footage of the occupation of our city, the conditioning we're under. Jakari, I'm glad you didn't get hurt. Yeah. And you had courage doing that here in this occupied country. Uh, now back to Leanne McAdoo in the main studio. Wow, guys, that was some shocking footage. It feels like we are living in a different kind of America. Jakari, I'm glad that you didn't actually go outside your door because they probably would have kicked your teeth in. That is the perfect example of how deep corruption runs in this country. The police and politicians are supposed to be public servants, but instead they're running around like they're above the law. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com.